I would wager we've just got some kind of light guide there for the LED. We've got the LCD panel there quite obviously and we've ha we have to have some form of mirror to guide the light A to the lens assembly in the front there which uh, seems to be permanently attached to the front bezel. Now that's the control board exposed right there and uh, this is a very anonymous chip just says uh, BK6818 we've got a trimmer there just to yeah, generic LCD drivey stuff some chip there with a very long number won't go into that, we'll just get rid of this for the time being let's risk of breaking the panel accidentally while we tear this thing asunder so the light guide should pop off if we just remove these screws and that's apparently just a uh, rear cover okie dokie so let's just uh, keep taking the screws the entire optical assembly seems to pop into an upper and a lower half so I guess that's uh, the next thing that's going to happen I should note that the quality of the plastic in this thing is just horrid it just feels it almost feels as if it's the entire thing was 3D printed it's just very... oh that's the panel hello that's the LCD panel huh. that's fancy little tiny LCD panel this thing is definitely not very high res. You can actually see the individual pixels on it uh, with a naked eye. Although well, it seems to have an aspect ratio of widescreen. I mean, it doesn't look 43. So perhaps it's uh, something like a 1280 by 720 ish thing. It's definitely not full HD. I don't think there are small enough pixels for that in it. But we'll. Uh, Perfect side. Oh wow. Huh. On the other side it's really dirty. Really dirty. Which it makes sense since the entire optical assembly is ventilated. We've just got to some uh, dust filters preventing dust preventing dirt entry, so that's not really the best design. The longer you run the projector, the more dust it's going to gather, the less sharp it's going to be, and the less light it's going to put out. Hmm. You need to keep in mind that these cost less than $200. Except for this one, which apparently cost $430. Is this going to pop into two parts? Yeah, but it's uh, glued shut with these uh, dust filter things. You can see a Fresnel lens in there. Yeah, these dust filters are not going to survive being taken apart. There we go. Oh, there's another fan in there. That's curious. Where's that? Yeah, there. Hmm. There we go. Another fan. What's the brand of these, anyway? It's actually shock mounted. That's nice. It's a cooling fan. <laughs> Have you ever needed a cooling fan? Well, now you've got a DC, DC brushless cooling fan. And that's the optical assembly right there. Is this uh, lens going to pop out? Yes, it is. Oh, that's a proper magnifying glass. Hello. Ooh. This entire thing is just one solid piece of glass. Yeah, the uh, zoom or focus, it has to be focus uh, setting, is just uh, a thread in the uh, plastic casing. Yeah, so the entire thing goes in and out. Well, that's kind of neat, I guess. It's not the most mechanically sturdy solution and it seems the uh, casing has uh, yeah that's cracked that's suffered shipping damage I'd wager definitely an issue oh well as long as you don't move this thing around I suppose it won't cause you any grief but yeah that's that's not as it's supposed to be 
I really like this lens though. That's... That's really cool, just look at that. Pretty proper magnification. Ha! That's worth scrapping this thing for. I've got more use for this as a magnifying glass than I do the entire projector. This actually seems to be a relatively high quality piece of optics. It's very heavy in your hand. It's definitely glass and not plastic. Not bad at all. I quite like that. Probably higher quality optics than in the camera I'm shooting this with. And here are the rest of the optics. We've got, uh, seems like a plastic Fresnel lens. There, and is uh, that another plastic Fresnel lens? While you pop out. Yep. That looks like a Fresnel lens, alright. Focusing my T5s. And another one in the back, it seems. Is that also going to... That looks like a Fresnel lens. Fresnel mirror vision. And that pretty much is some... The optics up, I won't bother removing that, it's just a mirror. And uh, the stuff in the back is clearly just mirrors as well to focus the light of the LED a bit better. And uh, I think that's about as much as this thing is ever going to come apart. So, uh, with no further ado, let's uh, try and hook that weird input board thing up to a computer and see what it does. And if I just uh, hook it up straight to my computer, it shows up as an RK30 SDK. Which, uh, googling that uh, doesn't really yield much useful results, uh, except for this uh, apparently being some kind of Android tablet type process, and it also gives you a few, I believe, Spanish reviews of some Android USB TV stick thing, which uh, uh, seems to have a similar form factor to this, so, hmm. Perhaps it's some uh, China special Android device that's actually powering this. Alright, I've uh, hooked it back together to such an extent that it uh, should at least do something when you power it on. Uh, I'm not entirely certain as to how it's supposed to go together because these connections are very ambiguous, ambiguous but uh, I think we might have a fair chance. It shouldn't go up in smoke anyway. We also, of course, don't have the LED connected up because that's entirely unnecessary. We have an IKEA lamp providing backlight instead, so let's uh, flick the switch and uh, see what goes up in smoke. Well, I guess it helps if you hook the LCD up the right way around. I've never before seen a flat flex which goes in with the uh, pins facing upwards. Anyway, let's go again. Hmm, where's the difference? Red. Green. Blue, black, white. Okay, it's certainly doing some kind of power on test thing. Can we get it to actually do anything? Hmm, it seems pretty dead. It's obviously stuck in some kind of a test mode. But uh, what that means is an entirely different story. No, I've tried everything. I tried shoving a signal into it and powering the stick otherwise and checking the feed voltage for the entire thing. It seems I killed it when I hooked the LCD up backwards. Whoops. So I guess the only thing left to do is just uh, hook the Android HDMI stick thing up to a monitor and see if it'll do anything. And yes, it really is a stick because the wire supplied is a HDMI extender and the stick has a HDMI mail connector on it. Hmm, this is in no way, shape, or form repurposed. No, we do have some picture TV box. TV box. Well, that certainly looks very Android indeed. We've even got Google Play Store going there. Wi-Fi network available. Hmm. Well, I have no clue whatsoever of how to use this thing. Uh, 
I certainly don't have a touch screen. It's probably intended to be used with remote somehow. But I there's no way to hook that up. Hmm. What happens if we just to shove a mouse into the USB port on this thing? Hey, there we go. I've got a mouse pointer. Whoops. I've got to censor that. Your tablet will shut down. Yes, my tablet certainly will shut down. I do not know how to use this thing, but this is clearly just some kind of Android TV stick thing, which works just fine standalone. Fair enough. So there you go. One cheapo China lethal LED pro projector in a million parts. I don't think I'm going to bother putting this thing back together, especially since I apparently uh, ruined it by hooking the LCD panel up backwards. Whoops. Anyway. So I suppose the most interesting thing to come out of this thing was probably that giant optical thing. Which just seems to make a an F slash nothing super macro tilt shift um, lens to put in front of stuff. So I guess that's kind of cool. But beyond that, pretty crappy. Uh, oh well. I hope you found this enlightening or at least in the least interesting. Thank you for watching. Cheerio. I mean, if you'd happen to want any of this stuff, like the little Fresnel lenses or the Android stick or the LED heatsink or something, and you don't mind paying European postage for it, uh, don't mind leaving a comment because I really have no use for any part of this except for the giant lens thing which I am keeping for myself. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Perhaps the stick might be of interest to someone. Holy crap, check out the macro. Oh, I can get if I stick the projector lens on top of my video camera. That's the tip of a Philips 2 screwdriver. That's pretty cool. That's the edge of a CD. Just a snaking its way off in the distance. Here's the LED we were playing with before. The individual dies. Wow, look at that reflection, reflection when I tilt them. Eternal blue. That's weird. That's really weird. That's my solder gooping. I never shifting red. Huh. That's an odd phenomenon.